women are not raped because of sexual desire. They're raped because um, they're known as the weaker gender. People, this is how people perceive women in my country. And that's when I decided to really fight for gender equality. This is when I realized that, okay, I really need to do something. I need to design such a project that will actually show women to be strong. Not women to literally fight, but to show that women are also fighters. When a woman is raped, you know, you have to uh, note down a lot of information about the woman. Um, you know, her name, her age, which I thought was okay, fair enough. But then what was actually there was the size of her body measurements. So when someone rapes her, the accused, his lawyer will say, my, my client will not even rape her because she's not attractive. And her lawyer will actually say, no, he can't rape her because these are her body measurements. So she is attractive enough. I was reading a lot of different theories on rape and it was found that men rape because of power because they because when you know so when it's survival of the fittest the animals hunt because they want to be on top of the food chain um, so it's the same way that men rape because they want to be the stronger gender There was someone who um, who didn't speak too much because she didn't have the confidence. But as time, but as time went on, she took it as her own to teach other self-defense. She wanted to go and she went around telling people what well, what their rights are, and um, just seeing everyone else's personal growth, I feel like that is my success. They have been supportive, and one thing that my father said to me, which I still remember till date, is that he said. You do what you have to do, but just don't do it as a hobby. You have to, you have to do it very seriously and you have to be the best at what you do. It doesn't matter what class you're from, they said women are already empowered. <laughs> they say we don't, need enough, we don't need any woman empowerment, let them be, they're happy, they're fine the way they are, you are talking too much, you are being too much of an activist. And they look at activists as a more negative term. These are the girls who are constantly fighting with their community because they're the ones who are left in the community who always have to answer to questions. I'm only there for a few hours just, to, just for that, but I'm not part of that community. So more than me, I think my girls are in danger, but they're also fighters. I want everyone to lead female empowerment movement. I want it to expand so much that I want everyone to join this movement and create this and take it as their own.